For about my whole entire life, I've had really bad organization skills. And a little while ago, I came across a YouTube video that has completely changed my life and the way that I store all of my content on my hard drives. So I'm gonna share that with you today. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I'm a freelance videographer living in Melbourne, Australia. On this channel, I share everything filmmaking related. So if you're into that sort of stuff, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on. So like I said, I came across a video a little while ago that has changed the way I do things. The video was by someone called Manai Hutter. I'll link her in the description. I just wanted to give her a shout out because ever since I saw your video, I have had the tidiest file organization ever and it has been amazing. So let's get into it. I'll show you what it looks like on the computer. So straight up, I'm literally just gonna show you the breakdown of the folder system. This way, if you wanna use the same workflow, you can pause the video here and create the folders yourself. Let's jump into it. To start off, I have the main folder titled Client Name, which I changed to the business name once we've started working together. These folders are really self-explanatory, but I'll run you through them anyway. This branding folder is where I put logos, fonts, or any branding decks that the client gives me. This way it's all in one place and I don't have to source it every time I work on a project with them. In the documents folder is where I keep contracts and invoices. Now when we start working on a project together, I change the title of this folder to whatever the job is and sometimes even include the date in it. Now opening this up, you'll find assets, footage, other project files and renders. In assets is where I'll put audio, lower thirds, music and sound effects, essentially just any assets that I need to make this video. In the footage folder, there is camera one, camera two, and drone. Inside these folders, there is also A roll and B roll. Now, I don't always use all of these folders because sometimes I'm only using one camera or I'm only capturing B roll, but I just have all of the folders set out so I don't have to create them there every time and they're just ready for me. Now, depending on the type of shoot though, I may change this system up. If I'm filming a project across three days, I would have a folder for each date and then have camera one and camera two under each day. Again, you can change these to however you want and I find that I don't always use them but it's always handy to just have everything set out so you don't have to create it every time. Other is literally for anything else that doesn't fit into any of the other folders, such as behind the scenes photos. I like to just keep everything neat and tidy away in folders at all times. Under project files, I have After Effects and Premiere. They both have autosave features which automatically creates more files. So again, it's just to keep it all neat and tidy. Sometimes I'll create an Audacity folder or even a Photoshop folder as I use those programs sometimes. Renders is where I sort all of my exports. Within that folder, I have another folder called To Send. I do this as there is generally a few exports of each video and I like to organize what files I'm gonna send in a separate folder. Also a little tip, so you don't have to create these folders every time, just keep a blank version somewhere in your hard drive that you can just drag and duplicate every time you work on a new project. Whenever I've finished up at a shoot and have dumped all of the footage onto my hard drive, I like to drag and drop the folder onto a separate hard drive just to have a backup. Once I finish working on the project and delivered it to the client, that's when I delete the backup copy. I've never lost any client work before, but you can never be too safe. Not only will this improve your workflow, but it will make others' lives easier too. Having great file organization will mean you're able to seamlessly hand over a project to somebody else to work on. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know down in the comments and even consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.